Hi, my name is Diana Chen. I am the product lead for Consilience Ventures. I started as an intern um, and my previous background uh, is mostly based in finance and data science. Um, before joining Consilience, I was working on event trading algorithms, um, mostly macro events um, and things like that. So Consilience Ventures startup selection pipeline is both multifaceted and multi-staged. Um, the high level of it is that the first part of startup selection is community driven. Startups give a one pager and we have the community give their feedback on that. Based on the community's feedback, we then decide whether to move the startup application to the next phase, which we call general assessment. And general assessment is really just one big filter that is composed of two parts. The first of it is the application form which includes questions related to product, financials, traction, what you might typically expect in such an application form. Um, the second part of general assessment is more focused on assessing the founder's capabilities. We want to make sure that beyond validating the business model, the people that drive that business um, uh, have the capability to do so in the long run. Um, so once the general assessment phase is complete, we then know whether we want to continue uh, the conversation with the startup. Um, and should we decide to do so, the next or the latter half of the startup selection pipeline is really just focused on um, defining and understanding exactly what the startup's goals are, priorities for the next six to 12 months, understanding why those specifically are the priorities over the next six to 12 months, and then defining the execution cost, understanding the risks, the complexity involved in, in, in delivering um, on, on, on the value creation that we expect at that time. So the way in which we assess what we call ecosystem fit for the experts, which is the alignment with the values, as well as the understanding and spirit of working with innovation, um, is essentially what we do is we, uh, we have experts go through what we call expert readiness. Expert readiness is a core part of how we assess experts and the exercise essentially consists of um, having experts define to us what they believe their core strengths are when it comes to delivering their specific service. Having, to them, uh, having experts define for us how they think about working in innovation when it comes to skills like critical thinking, leading in a team, um, problem solving. How is that different to them than problem solving or thinking critically um, in an otherwise um, less high pressure environment? So we really try and get to the core of what makes them capable um, and how can we quantify that capability of their ability to deliver within our ecosystem.